it took about four surgeries to get here. Kim Sport isn't shy about showing breast cancer patients her body. She had a mastectomy and reconstructive surgery at the same time and says she couldn't be happier with the results. It was very, very important to share that experience with other women because I didn't want them just to have to look at a photo. And a new survey from the American Society of Plastic Surgeons shows most women agree. The survey found 89% of women say they would rather see what reconstruction results might look like before making any treatment decisions. The problem is not only are some women never shown surgery results, but seven out of 10 are not fully informed about their reconstructive options. And by the time some women find out, it's too late. I see a great number of patients who come in and say, I wish I'd known beforehand. I wish I could turn the clock back. But the problem is you can't turn the clock back. To make sure women are aware of their options, ASPS member surgeons are planning a novel show and tell event in October to kick off the nation's first ever Breast Reconstruction Awareness Day, or Bra Day USA. The idea is to let cancer patients see for themselves what other women have been through. She's always known. Singer-songwriter Jewel is lending her support as a spokesperson for the Breast Reconstruction Awareness Campaign. She's performing a charity concert and has also written an inspirational song to help raise funds for the campaign. When I was writing the song, there was a lot of survivors that came to mind. And I'm always continually amazed at how resilient women are and how when faced with a difficult position, they find the courage to say, I'm going to fight on and I'm, I'm even going to be better. And that's what really made me write the song. She's a flower that grows despite cement walls. And she will survive. At the Center for Restorative Breast Surgery in New Orleans, this is Clark Powell reporting.